I am Elena Simpal. I am one of the general chairs of this year's European Data Forum. I work at the University of Southampton in a research group that deals with web and internet science as a senior lecturer. My name is Michael Hausenblas. I'm also general chair of this year's EDF. I'm a chief data engineer at EMEA, uh, region uh, for uh, map art technologies. So, what we see is that uh, in Europe there are issues that people are not aware of each other uh, work and output uh, in, in general and that is something we, we want to address with the European Data Forum. I think I agree with, uh, with what Michael is saying. Uh, I think we do have all the right ingredients in place. We have now at the second year's, year of the European Data Forum a better understanding of what is needed what type of stakeholders we need to address, what kind of topics uh, we should cover in order to make Europe not just ready for big data, for big data adoption, but also competitive in, um, in the technology domain, in various vertical domains uh, in relation to, to big data technologies. Are we reaching out to the, to the right stakeholders at the European Data Forum? I think we are. We have identified already at the first year of the European Data Forum what these categories of stakeholders are. And in a society and economy as diverse as the European one, um, we need to uh, reach out to both research organizations, knowledge transfer, technology providers, big and small, as well as potential adopters and end users. We bring all these different types of organizations, but also so citizens and, and society groups, communities, together these two days at the European Data Forum in order for them to become aware of what is going on, to exchange ideas and to establish collaborations. Right, so Elena made a very valid point there. We have already identified in terms of uh, the horizontal uh, range uh, all the, the relevant stakeholders. However, what we need to do is uh, going deeper, uh, raising awareness around that, that even more people know about that event and uh, do successfully participate. So what is uh, so special about Europe? In Europe, uh, it's a rather heterogeneous market if you compare it, for example, to US, which means you have to deal with a number of different languages and policies and so on. And that is, on the one hand, a challenge, but on the other hand, it's also a huge opportunity for businesses. In addition to that, the European economy is characterized by the presence of a large number of very diverse SMEs. Uh, who are operating with very in innovative uh, products and services in the big data uh, field. These companies, they need novel ways to get together and to get in contact with potential customers and larger ICT organizations. And this is what we are trying to achieve at the European Data Forum.